Creating custom brushes in Affinity Photo is relatively easy. Uh, those brushes can also be used in Affinity Designer once you've created them. And I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate a couple of different ways to bring in custom brushes or to create your own custom brushes. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new document. And I'm going to select the star tool over here on the left from the tools list. I'm going to go ahead and position that in the center, scale that up, and I want to put that right in the middle. Okay, so that's good. I'm going to go ahead and adjust the color to black and white. With the object selected, I'm going to go up here to the file menu, choose export. I've got PNG selected as the default file format. From the area menu, I'm going to change that to selection without background, and I'm going to export that. Now, I've already created these brushes, so I'm just going to click on the ones that I want to rename them as, so it assigns the name, and I'm going to overwrite the old one. Now, with that star still selected, I'm going to uh, se uh, select a color. So, we've assigned it a yellow color. I'm going to go up to the file menu, export that one. Again, PNG is the file format from the area menu, selection without background, and export. And I'm going to select my other file, uh, the color file, to assign that name to the file. And we're going to replace it. And that's it for creating the brush. So I've got an image here. I'm going to go ahead and select the brushes palette from the right hand side. And from the menu that is all the way over on the far right edge, I'm going to choose to add a new image brush. And I'm going to choose my color star. Now, an image brush uh, just paints small stamps. It's like a stamp of your uh, brush or of the brush that you've created. So we can edit this brush now by double clicking on it. And there's some settings here under the general, general tab, the dynamics tab, and the texture tab. And for this, I'm mostly concerned with the dynamics tab, so I'm going to adjust the jitter size. I'm going to adjust the rotation jitter, scatter X, scatter Y, and maybe give it a little bit of saturation difference and luminosity. Um, you can also adjust the color, but I'm going to go ahead and leave that as is. Now I've made all the settings changes that I want, so I'm going to close that. And you can see from the preview it's kind of small, so I'm going to adjust the brush size up. And on a different layer, I'm going to go ahead and paint down some stars. Now again, um, this uses the color from the image. It's just a stamp, so picking a color doesn't change what this looks like. In order to do that, let's go ahead and get rid of this layer. And I'm going to bring in another brush. So from the brushes palette, I'm going to import a new intensity brush. I've created that black and white star, so I'm going to select that. Click Open. And again, at the bottom of the menu, or the bottom of the palette, you can see our new brush. Adjust those settings. That's pretty good for now. I'm going to close that. We've got green selected as our color. We've got a small brush there, so let's bring that up in size. And again, paint down some stars. If we want blue stars, we can set that color. And that's the color of the uh, pattern that will be painted down. Now, this is especially useful if you do digital painting. Um, so let's go ahead and get rid of those layers. I've already got a white background layer, but let's add one more layer above that. And I'm going to bring in another brush. I've already created this one, but I'm going to bring in a new intensity brush. And I'm going to bring in these magnolia leaves. And at the bottom of the list, there are our leaves. We'll adjust the scatter. Rotation. So we get some variation in there. And let's go ahead and close that. 
pick a nice green color and make the brush a little bigger and you can lay down a quick bush right there now if you control click or right click on these brushes you get another menu so you can bring up the edit uh, settings you can rename the brush you can delete the brush or if you've organized your brushes you can move them to a different category I just want to say thank you for stopping by my channel. If this video was at all helpful to you, it'd mean a lot to me if you liked or subscribed. Share this video if you know someone that could use the information. As always, if you have questions, suggestions for tutorials, or if there is some other creative software that you think I should start making tutorials for, leave a comment below.